All right, so something that's kind of bugged me with uh, my home automation setup is there's no cheap, easy way of setting up just a, a really simple door chime. People use Sonos uh, speakers to do that, but I don't want to spend a few hundred dollars just to have a door chime. Um, I've seen people do some crazy things with uh, if this and that, and uh, you know, downloading WAV files and playing them on MP3 players and all kinds of stuff. So if I had all that laying around, yeah, maybe I'd mess around with it, but it's uh, it's just not practical for me. So. Um, I found these at my local Home Depot for on they were on sale for under 15 bucks. Uh, picked up uh, four of them, so I'm using just the lights on a few places. Um, since they're so cheap, I looked up to see if anybody's taking them apart and seeing what the internals are. And uh, and it turns out some people have. This is what you got inside: just a couple of LEDs in here, and there's a, a board that's normally soldered on right here um that has all the zigbee components on it. everything else is just uh switching it from 120 volt ac to whatever dc current these leds are running so um so i pulled that board off and i got it right here it's super small four pins um a couple other people have uh done some testing on those uh i, I saw a video by john mcalpine um he lists uh pin pin one is ground pin two is three volt in and pin three as a uh, uh, pwm out I um, also found that pin 4 is a high load digital out, so that's kind of cool also. So I've already paired it with smart things when it was the bulb just to make sure it worked before I pulled it apart. Um, so when I turn it on, LEDs turn on, which is kind of cool. Um, so the white LED is the, the high low and the green is uh, the PWM, so I can control, oh excellent smart things. Just updated today, so I don't know. <laughs> I've been having a couple, couple other unrelated issues um, with the phone app. But all right, so if I go into here, I can adjust the um, basically the brightness of the LED through through the PWM output here. So all that works completely as you would expect. High low, it, if it's on, it's on. If it's off, uh, then it'll turn off. So very cool. Works just like the bulb, just as you'd expect. So what I wanted to do then is have um, have this paired up with um, you could you could use any door sensor. These are the cheap uh, Wink trippers. They're they're like under twenty bucks each on Amazon. Um, you order them in sets of two for like thirty eight bucks. So you open it up. You can see I'm gonna use it for a side gate. Side gates open and LEDs come on. Um, so right now the Arduino all it's doing is supplying the three and a half volt or three point three volt power. Um, so all this can be done with just uh, you know with just power. You don't need anything else. If you wanted to do something fancy or fancier, like I got here, um, this is just uh, two of the example sketches loaded up. It's the uh, state change sketch to detect um, voltage change right here on the high low, and, uh, and then it's outputting the tone to the the piezo here. So. Super basic, I just copy and pasted the tone piece and put it in and replaced the LED piece for um, uh, for the, uh, what's it called, state change. So so now that this is all hooked up, it should, when you open this, play the tone that's configured. That's just the default tone. There's a whole library of, uh, of notes that you can change that around. Um, since it's doing state change, um, it's only gonna have this go off when when the LEDs come on. So open it and this is still looping but because it's uh, not detecting a new state change it's not going to play again so the LEDs are still going to be running the whole time so if I make like if I make like an alarm light or something um, I can have that turn on or I can even have you know scrolling LEDs or something since this is uh, hooked up to the Arduino this isn't going to play until state changes two more times so when I close it state changes uh, doesn't do anything lights just turn off and then when I reopen it. So I, I'm probably gonna switch out the speaker, definitely gonna switch the tone, and uh, and I'm not gonna use my uh, mega board here. I'll probably get one of the cheap Chinese uh, nanos or micros and, uh, and hook it up to that. That way the form factor will probably be the same footprint approximately of this, plus whatever the speaker is. Um, so it's gonna be a uh, pretty lightweight, very low power, and uh, and under 40 bucks for you know all the all the components so um should be uh should be pretty cool if if anyone wants to try it or has anything that they want to try let me know how you guys are using these boards i, I think for the price there's a lot of things you could do i'm, I'm also going to pull these apart it just has a little uh reed switch in it i'm thinking of making a uh 
uh, you know, a $20 um, moisture sensor, <clears throat> sorry, or a water leak sensor. So a lot of things that I still want to do, but just want to get this video up showing what I'm doing right now with it.